Right guys, I'm going to teach you how to stop lucid dreaming. I never thought I'd be saying that because obviously I, this channel is about how to lucid dream, but there are times when you'd like to stop. You know, for example, if you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling like you don't want to have these experiences or you feel like it's taxing on your mind. Some people are different and some people actually find this stuff, you know, is quite tiring to their mind. I haven't really found any, come across anyone who's found this to be the case, but I know you guys are out there, and I know that some, some of you find, especially natural lucid dreamers, find that sometimes you just want a break, right? You just don't want to be conscious, you don't want to be doing things, you just want to be passed out and, and completely unaware and, you know, sleeping, right? Unaware of your dreams. There are a number of ways that you can stop lucid dreaming. The first and most obvious one is that when you become lucid, you just wake yourself up, okay? By either, you know, killing yourself in the dream or closing your eyes and keeping them closed or just, you know, strongly intending to wake up. That's probably the least effective or least preferable way of stopping lucid dreaming because you interrupt your sleep as well and then you wake up feeling worse. You know, say if you're having a lucid dream at 4am, you don't want to wake up at 4am. You know, most of us don't want to wake up that early. So, that's just an emergency one if you're really struggling and you don't want a lucid dream at all. The second one is you can just gradually tell yourself that you're going to lucid dream less. You know, instead of constantly saying <coughs> instead of constantly saying I will lucid dream tonight constantly tell yourself I won't lucid dream tonight and you know you'll build up that negative reinforcement instead of the positive reinforcement you can also then try things like you know a lot of lucid dreaming is about about building habits and once these habits are established in your mind they're hard to break so one of the habits is self-awareness and you know being critical of the world around you that's not a bad habit by the way if you have that habit, if you're constantly aware of the world and you're asking questions and that's why you're always lucid, that's not a bad thing. And I would, if I were you, think very carefully about whether you want to stop doing that. Because that's one of the, ba the building blocks of lucid dreaming. Yeah, it's going to give you lucid dreams, but it's also a really good habit to have. We should be questioning our world. We shouldn't just accept what we're presented, okay? Great film to watch for that is uh, The Truman Show by Jim Carrey. We shouldn't accept what we presented, we should constantly question things. So that is an option, you know, just tell yourself, I won't lucid dream tonight, and eventually you won't lucid dream. Another thing is if you are writing your dreams down, if you're writing in a dream journal, stop doing it. Because by writing in a dream journal, you're telling yourself, I want to lucid dream and I want to be more involved in the dream process. So if for some reason you don't want to lucid dream, then just stop writing your dreams down altogether, okay? now. This has been a bit of a difficult video um, to, <coughs> to sort of create because I always teach you guys how to lucid dream and it's weird to think that you wouldn't want to lucid dream or you know some of you out there wouldn't want to do this but I completely understand you know if, if it's tiring or if you feel like you just want a break that's absolutely fine there's not a problem with that at all and I'm not going to say you know you're going to be a worse person for it or anything like that because you're not it's completely absolutely perfectly acceptable to not lucid dream and to not want to lucid dream, that's absolutely fine. Um, so hopefully this has been helpful, hopefully this has you know, helped you work out how to stop lucid dreaming. Uh, leave a comment, let me know how you got on or you know your struggles and, and experiences and uh, yeah, that's it, done.